welcome to a very special edition of Spring Watch Live. We are here in Sutton Park in Sutton Coalfield and today on the programme we're looking at mammals and I've got such a treat for you in the studio because here I have a, a few very special people and animals. So hello, what's your name? I'm Charlie. Charlie, welcome to the studio today and who have you brought with you? Uh, these are three hoglets, well they're small juveniles now. They came in about two days ago. There were four and they were all sheltered underneath the dandelion. Mom had gone. Um, and they were all in the rain, sheltered under one dandelion out in the open. Um, and a couple of them were in a really poorly state. They still need attention and they're still having some hand feeding um, because they were very dehydrated and hungry when they came in. Um, and yeah, so they've got to be fed every sort of three hours at the moment getting them back into a healthy state. So we've got some tiny little baby hedgehogs here, which you call hoglets, that's yes, right, hoglets, isn't it? Yeah. Hoglets, and currently you're hand-feeding them. So what are you feeding them at the moment? It's right. Well, the idea of putting a bowl of milk out for hedgehogs is not good. They're lactose intolerant. When they're young, obviously, as a mammal, they do feed on mum's milk. Um, we use a puppy milk replacer for them, um, special milk for them. And because of the age they are, Excuse me. They um, have a lot of growing to do very, very quickly. So they are having a very high nutrient mix of cat and dog rescue food. Um, and it's a, we call it rocket fuel for hedgehogs. Mm, um, sounds tasty. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but if you think about it in the wild, a, hedge, a hoglet's got five to six weeks before it leaves home before mum kicks it out. Um, so they've got a lot of growing to do from sort of 14 grams at birth to 350, 400 grams by the time they leave home. So they really have to put the weight on. Now we've been talking quite a bit about hedgehogs today um, across the site as well. There's lots of different things going on here. Yeah. But um, hedgehogs in the UK are kind of on the decline, is that right? So they're finding it harder to find food, to find habitats? Massive decline. Um, the, the, the larger strongholds are actually in the urban and suburban areas now. In the countryside, um, because of changing in the way that farming is done, obviously to feed an ever-growing population, um, the, the countryside isn't so good because there isn't so much hedgerow, not so many insects because of pesticides. Um, but in towns and cities now, um, very tidy gardening, no space for sort of what a lot of people would call weeds, but you know, wild areas, because these are insectivores, so they rely on, on insects in the garden. Um, and also, on, on the flip side, a lot of new, new build developments going up, and they're surrounded by gravel boards so the hedgehogs can't even get in and out of the gardens. And these guys, when they're older, they'll travel about a mile, mile and a quarter in a night, going through probably 12, 10, 12, 15 gardens. If they can't get in there, um, they just can't find places to nest or, or the food. Um, so they are in, in terrible decline, but it's harder to get changes in the countryside, but we can all make a change in the garden. So if you do want to improve your garden, if you want to make it more hedgehog friendly, yeah. what kind of things should you be doing? Make sure they can get in and out in the first place. So if you have got gravel boards, try and make sure there's a gap underneath the gate or raise one of the gravel boards. Or if you've got the tools, just make a four inch hole in one of the gravel boards. Let it have a, have a wild patch in the garden. Um, we're coming up to autumn. You know, it tends to be the things now people sort of rake up the leaves and they go straight in the, in the, in the bin to, be, to, to go off. Um, rake them into piles because it gives habitat for hedgehogs to hibernate in. Um, and also they like food larders, log piles as well because as they rot down lots of insects, fantastic for them. You can leave some food out, um, dry, dry cat or, or dog food, fantastic for them. Um, and stuff like sunflower hearts and, and sultanas they'll really enjoy. Um, put a hedgehog home in and you, you can make one for nothing from an old storage tub, sort of toy storage tub, cut a four inch hole in it upturned, cover it with earth and, and sort of logs or the other end, end of the market you can sort of go to a garden centre and make it and buy a pre-made one for 40, 50 pounds. But in a way it's more fun to make one and if you have got that money to spend, buy some planting.